In an earlier video, I reviewed the Thrunite Archer Pro. Well, now I have the Thrunite Archer Pro V2 for version 2. If you're interested in hearing what the differences are between these two lights, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Thrunite for sending out the Archer Pro version 2 so that I could share it with you. So what we'll do is we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the physical and performance specifications for this light. I will go over the operation, but I think more importantly, I'll compare this light against the original Archer Pro so that you can see the differences and help you decide if one of these two lights is the right one for you. All right, just before we take a closer look at the Thrunite Archer Pro version 2, Let's take a look at what it came with. So it came in a simple white box from Through Night, and that's one of the things I like about the Through Night lights. Nothing fancy, just a simple less is more box. Inside is what's important, and in this case, it's a USB Type C charging cable, and the warranty and manual information. Always well laid out for Through Night's lights. Okay, so we're going to take a closer look at this. I will give you the the physical specifications, but you know this is virtually identical, at least physically to the Archer Pro, but it's this the performance specs where it differs, and I'll get to that in a moment. So let's quickly go over this. Two more things that it does come with that I haven't mentioned yet is the pocket clip, two-way pocket clip that is removable, and it comes with a 1,000 milliamp hour uh, 14500 lithium ion battery. However, it's built in, it's non-accessible, and I know that can be a deal breaker for some people, which is unfortunate. I'm not sure why they continue to do that, but yes, that's just the way it is. You need to know that right up front. Right, let's go into the physical specifications. 3.85 inches in length, or 98 millimeters. Diameter at its widest, 0.83 inches, or 21 millimeters. Weight 3.35 ounces, 95 grams. It has a waterproof rating of IPX8 and an impact resistance rating of 1.5 meters. All right, here's the more important part of the video as far as what is the same and what is different between this and the Archer Pro. So what I'm going to do is run down through the performance specifications for the version 2 and at the same time give you the equivalent performance specifications for the regular Pro. So, turbo, 950 lumens, dropping to 190 lumens after 70 seconds, but lasting another 146 minutes. Now, anyone who's looked at the regular Archer Pro knows that it has a slightly higher lumen setting of 1,022, still dropping down to 191 lumens, but it does so after a minute and a half, lasting another 40, 145 minutes. So what can I say is that the version 2 is not quite as bright. It's close, but it's not quite as bright. It's almost non-noticeable in terms of brightness. However, there are a few other differences that are a bit more noticeable. High for the V2 is a 430 lumens dropping to 190 after four minutes and lasting another 140 minutes. Compared that with the regular Pro, 478 lumens lasting and dropping down to 208 lumens the first lasting one minute, then dropping down to 159 minutes. Again, very close. Now they get even closer on the way down. Low for both of these, 13 lumens lasting 37 hours. Firefly is 0.5 lumens for 15 days, whereas the regular Pro is 0.41 lumens lasting for 15 days. I don't know if we could even measure the difference. I can't see the difference in it anyway. Strobe, however, 115 lumens lasting 150 minutes for the version two. For the regular Pro, 92 lumens lasting 260 minutes. Now here's where things differ between the two lights. And this is essentially that thing that makes one light that much different than the other. For the Pro, it has a distance or a beam distance cast of 187 meters, whereas the regular Pro is only 134 meters. No, I say only. It's still a long cast for a small light like this. So what does that tell me? Well, it tells me that the version 2 is more geared to be a spotlight as opposed to a floodlight. Now I'm showing you the, the reflector on this light, but I'm going to give you the comparison between this and the regular in one moment. All right, now I'm going to take the two lights and bring them in side by side so I can give you a comparison and show you what the differences are because on the surface, unless you really look closely, they're almost identical in every way, but there are a few subtle differences. First, let's go through the exterior of the light. So this is the Archer Pro, the original of the two, and what you'll notice is on the forward part where the bezel is, there is vertical lines running lengthwise, 
there is rounded lines which intersect with vertical lines on the body. All right. The other light, round, <laughs> lines running around the basal and around the body with no vertical lines. Really, that's the only difference looking at the bodies of these. However, when you go to the reflectors, there is a little bit of a difference. So, this being the original Pro, or Archer Pro, has an orange peel reflector that is slightly, and I mean very slightly, wider in diameter than the new Archer Pro V2, which has a polished reflector and appears to set in just a tiny bit deeper. Now, of course, that's consistent with the uh, style of light. If this is the original Pro is more of a floodlight and the Archer Pro V2 is more of a spotlight, that's exactly what you would expect to see. And that's exactly what ha uh, it looks like when we get it aside. You'll see the performance of these side by side. Otherwise, really, there's not much difference between these two lights. So as far as the operation of the Archer Pro V2, it's identical to the Archer Pro, the original. They both have on-off, simple on, simple off, using the tail cap switch. Hold the light on for a second and you get Moonlight or, or Firefly in this case. It's very, very low. Turn it off again. Now, if you want to run through and infinitely infinite low to infinite high turn the light on press and hold the button it'll run up or down in this case it's going to run down it'll flash to tell me it's reached the lowest level there we go and if i press and hold the button now it'll run all the way up to the highest and it'll flash again so that is at its highest turn the light on turn the light off it has memory for the last lumen setting quick double tap and now we're in turbo. So that's pretty, that's exactly the same between the two lights, as is the lockout. The lockout is simple. Turn the light on far into Firefly. Not like that, like this, All right? Yeah, I actually have to look sometimes to see if it is in Firefly because it is such a low lumen setting. Now just press and hold the light and it'll flash like that to tell me it's locked out. Now if I press the button, all I get is just a momentary flash it doesn't stay on if i want to unlock it i have to press and hold and it is about i think three seconds so we'll just do that did it turn on yes it did and now we're unlocked again so now you can see it's in full operation now as far as the strobe goes it's a triple tap very identical and also very much like all, pretty much all the other through nights so there are some variations between the models and as i mentioned it has a memory for the last lumen setting and as far as charging goes as i mentioned i showed you the charging port on the side just to make sure in case i didn't there you go so it's a charging port there but you cannot as i mentioned before access the battery unfortunately all right that's all there is so uh let's get outside and do some demonstrations all right we're doing some nighttime demonstrations for the through night Archer Pro version 2 or V2 and I think the easiest way to do this is start with a comparison against the regular Archer Pro. So I am in my backyard and I'm going to do things just a little bit different because this runs from infinity low to infinity high and back again. I'm going to start with the infinity high this time and let's see how that is working to light up the yard. And uh, yeah, that's doing a pretty good job when you think about it. Now, what I'm seeing here on Infinity High, I haven't even got it up to turbo yet, uh, on Infinity High is a uh, quite a bit of flood. It's, it's got a central hotspot with spill on either side of it, but for the most part, it, there's very little difference between the two. You'd, you'd have to look hard to see where the central hotspot kind of changes over to the flood. So basically a good little handheld floodlight. Let's just take it up to turbo. There, yeah, that definitely <laughs> lights up the backyard really well. All over here, yeah. So that's where this little light, the Archer Pro, the regular Archer Pro shines, is like a small little floodlight. Given the small size of it though, of course, but still quite a bit of flood to use. All right, let's turn that off and bring out the version two, the Archer Pro version two. Turn the light on. Now this right I have set at the lowest. I'm gonna wrap it up to, and you'll see it flash in a second. All right, now, this is now on high, not turbo, 
but there is immediately an apparent difference to me. What I'm seeing now is a much more focused light. The flood is nowhere near as wide to either side, and the central hotspot is larger than it was with the regular Archer Pro less spill on either side so it's much more forward focused on this light you can see a lot further distance now i'm looking at that that uh, outbuilding that you're seeing there it's a garage and that's uh, almost 100 feet away so that should give you an idea just how far or how good the light is working maybe a little hard to pick on camera but well, i can definitely see the difference now let's just one, run this one up to turbo yeah even brighter of course look at the treetops up there you can see it's lighting the treetops all over here a longer distance light, not a lot longer, but definitely a longer distance, more of a spotlight than the regular Archer Pro is. All right, a few closing thoughts for the Through Night Archer Pro V2 for version 2. So the, really, the only difference functionally between the version 2 and the regular Archer Pro is the fact that the version 2 is more of a spotlight, whereas the regular Archer Pro is more of a floodlight. And you saw that when we got them outside, they... And, and even at that, the differences are only slight. The version 2 will cast a little further, a little tighter. The version or the regular Pro will only cast, uh, well, not quite as far, still good distance, as you saw, and a little bit wider to give you a little bit more flood. The version or the V2 has a bit more of a cooler light than the regular Pro. That's about the only difference. Now, here's the truth of it, at least for me. Neither of these are lights I would pick up if I was going into the woods for navigation at night or searching for something outside. These are both EDC, everyday carry lights, something I'm putting, going to put in my pants pocket, and you can do that very easily with this light, considering how uh, thin the diameter is, as well as that nice deep popper pocket clip. Either one would be a good choice for that because in that role, really, you're only using them in relatively confined spaces. At least I do. It would be inside my home, around my car, inside my car, maybe at work or other places like that. But not one that I would pick up if I was going looking for something in the woods or, as I mentioned before, trying to navigate through the woods. Both would be great uh, just travel lights that you could use uh, in a hotel room or in your tent if you were camping. Both of them would work equally well for that at least in my opinion. Okay, that's all I have to give you on these two lights. I will give you all the specifications on all the uh, contact information or the links where you can find out more about these, both lights for that matter, in the video description below. I'd invite you, if you have any comments or questions regarding either of these lights, please put those in the comments section below. All right, until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.